As we enter the 21st century, our nation faces natural and man-made threats to our food supply. Rising to meet these challenges, K-State and the city of Manhattan, Kansas are poised to be the new home of the National Bio and Agri-Defense Facility, or NBAF. Why should Kansas have NBAF? Quite simply, because Kansas knows agriculture. Kansas State University has been making the nation's food supply safer since its founding in 1863. In 1999, K-State had the vision to launch the Homeland Defense Food Safety, Security, and Emergency Preparedness Program. Beyond K-State's long history in food safety, the university is strategically situated within the Animal Health Corridor, making it an ideal location for NBAF. This region has hundreds of talented scientists, working in over 130 companies and three major universities, all with expertise in protecting our food supply. Kansas has the largest concentration of animal health companies in the world, uh, and this matters a great deal uh, as it relates to the siting of the NBAF. First, these animal health companies are very much uh, focused on the commercialization of product. The NBAF must be more than just about research. Uh, taking the products of that research to market is vitally important, and this industry is going to be a very key part of that. Supporting that industry is Kansas State University. Uh, its research and its education programs really have made Kansas uh, the center of the animal health industry. Within the Animal Health Corridor, K-State operates the Biosecurity Research Institute, a biosafety level three facility. In addition to research, the institute trains scientists and lab technicians from around the globe how to diagnose, and contain disease outbreaks, and how to develop preventive measures and treatments safely and securely. In addition to the BRI, K-State boasts the renowned College of Veterinary Medicine, as well as a research commercialization facility. In all, K-State has more than 160 scientists devoted to food safety research. This creates a center of expertise and knowledge. Ultimately, a facility such as the BRI or NBAF would not be possible without the support from the community. The citizens of Manhattan understand the need for a facility like NBAF and its benefits. The NBAF is a tremendous win-win for absolutely everyone. The nation will benefit from the unmatched animal health research expertise and infrastructure in Kansas, and the Kansas economy will benefit greatly as we work to achieve the NBAF mission. Just think of the impact of a new $650 million science laboratory, hundreds and hundreds of new jobs, and a $3.5 billion economic impact over the next two decades. Another huge factor was something the Kansas legislature did when it passed the Kansas Economic Growth Act of 2004. The act created the Kansas Bioscience Authority and is providing $581 million to pursue national bioscience leadership. Simply put, we would not have been positioned for this victory without it. From a business perspective, the Kansas Bioscience Authority is making a huge difference in our state. The KBA was a key factor in successfully attracting NBAF to Kansas. It was the most focused, strategic, and united effort I've ever seen. It's also exciting to know that the KBA is facilitating our state's national leadership in other bioscience sectors as well. I just say, wow, uh, the KBA, uh, the Kansas Bioscience Authority has been a leader. Uh, they've had the vision, uh, they've had the firepower, and they have provided the Kansas delegation, they provided me on our 10-year plan to get this done, uh, the valuable catalyst or assistance to get it done. And they're providing real leadership to Kansas for us to be a player uh, in regards to bioscience and research in the 21st century. They've done a splendid job, outstanding job. Bringing the National Bio and Agro Defense Facility to Kansas is truly an historic and game-changing moment for our state. It shows that when we invest in areas where we're strong, when we set priorities, and when we come together as a state, we can rise to meet national and international challenges. This is the kind of strategic approach that will lead our state's economic recovery and exactly why the KBA was created. History, location, expertise, community support. 
great reasons why Manhattan and Kansas State University are the logical new home for the National Bio and Agro-Defense Facility. We have a responsibility to the greater nation. Because we have the resources here, because of our location, because we're in the center of animal science for this country, we have a responsibility, not only an economic opportunity, but we have a responsibility to the nation to host MBAF here in our city. I join my fellow Kansans in celebrating the Department of Homeland Security site selection of Manhattan and Kansas State University for the new National Bio and Agro Defense Facility. Our agriculture heritage and our understanding of the importance of this research have truly paid off, and it will pay off big time. Very few people on their Christmas list had NBAF in their Santa Claus letter. I did. I just want to tell you, what do you want for Christmas? NBAF. And it's a little early. But it's a, it's a great day for the university. It's a great day for this region. It's a great day for the state of Kansas. And I think it's a great day for the country. This is a fabulous get uh, for us. It will make us, uh, it'll make Kansas really the undisputed international leader in the animal health industry. Uh, it is that significant. With this decision, what this really does is it cements the corridor between Kansas City, Lawrence, and Manhattan as the Silicon Valley of animal health.